Hi, my name is Steve Hicks. I'm a conservation police officer with the Department of Gaming and the Fisheries. I'm here today to talk to you about black bears in Virginia and living with them. First of all, where can you find black bears in Virginia? You can locate them almost anywhere in the state these days. In Fauquier County, where I'm assigned, you can find them all the way from Paris Mountain down to Summerduck, which is where we're at today. Um, black bear, uh, a male bear is called a boar and they can grow up from uh, 100 pounds, 150 pounds to 500 pounds typically, depending on what type of time of year you encounter them. Uh, sow, you can find them between 100 and 250 pounds, depending on what type of time of year you encounter them. Black bear typically den until about mid-March through May is when they emerge from their dens with their cubs, which are usually about four to five months old at this point. They're usually born in January, February, and only weigh six ounces to 12 ounces at the time of the birth. Um, at this time of year, in the, when they emerge from the dens, you usually have a lot of problems with bear in the area. Around homes, there's just not a plentiful amount of food out there for them. They're, they're omnivorous, they eat anything. They're opportunistic feeders though. They'll eat anything from uh, plants to berries to nuts. There's just not, not a lot of berries and nuts when they emerge from their dens in mid-March through May. Um, if you're having any nuisance bear issues, one of the ways you can deal with that, say for gardens or if you have beehives, um, is to put up electric fencing. It's a, it's a cheap alternative uh, to try to protect your property. I've also seen them get into chickens and chicken feed. And if you need to protect your uh, livestock or your, your gardens or your beehives, like I said, electric fencing is the way to go. You can contact your local co-op or you can go on our website, which is www.dgif.virginia.gov. It's full of all kinds of black bear facts, very helpful. I can talk to you about um, ways to deal with nuisance bear issues, as well as other nuisance wildlife issues. Um, you can contact our wildlife conflict helpline, and that's provided on our website as well. And that could talk to you, uh, that could help you out with all kinds of nuisance wildlife issues. For more information on dealing with black bears, go to our website at www.dgif.virginia.gov. It gives you more facts than I've provided today, a lot more facts, and you can uh, maybe dispel a few myths you've had about black bears and learn to live with them better. You can also find a, a number for a wildlife conflict helpline if you're having nuisance wildlife problems. It can give you a whole bunch of information on dealing with all kinds of different species and dealing with nuisance wildlife. It's also illegal to feed black bear in Virginia. If you if you um, feeding other wildlife and attract black bears at that point you have to bring in your food. It uh, becomes dangerous for yourself and the black bear to habituate them around homes. They be, can become uh, uh, dangerous to anybody living there and of course if they become a danger at that point you might have to kill the bear itself. So nobody wants to see that happen. The bottom line is you gotta learn to live with black bear and keep the wildlife wild. Thank you.